do have some things on sale here, like most locations. They got the Miz on sale. Of course, these Jordan 1 highs kind of the standard prices at Finish Line JD Sports right now for this colorway 155. But they do have some retro on sale at this location. 85 on the Jordan 1 Low SE and then 110 on these. So they do have a retro selection here. A lot of things that we have seen and pretty much at the price that we've seen everywhere else too. 155 on the green glows. Then we got the uh, pandas here for 130 bucks, which is something we're normally seeing. And then they got the ochres here. Uh, we've seen them might be at like 89 bucks or actually that was a mauve colorway at 89 dollars. Now they got them here for 100 bucks. Haven't seen this really in a longer time. Good to see that though. High school side briefly, they got this 9060 with some different type of material. I wonder if they come like this in men's pairs too. Not mad at these at all. Gray school colorway on this 2002R as well. And back to the selection over here. Definitely a lot of solid things that we have seen before. A lot of markdowns in case you guys didn't know what's in this location because it is kind of slept on. They got dunks here for 75 bucks. I'm sure they got a pretty good size run of them too. Jordan 1 lows, Jordan 1 mids. Even the newest mid to come out, which, oh my goodness, this gold one right here. Gold colorway, black with the gold trim. It's not too bad. Quality looks pretty decent too. Got the Air Force One, white with the blue trim. They also got these dunks here too. More dunks even to choose from. Colorways that we definitely seen at most spots. Do like this one, this waffle style. I like this colorway better than the other one that came out with the waffle material. Then of course they got those Air Force Ones. All this stuff right here is still full retail right now. Dunks, dunks, some running shoes as well. Got some markdowns over here on these Pumas. Now they're $50 as opposed to $120. Some New Balance 2002Rs for $105. 574s for $75. Bucks. They even got the latest colorway of the... Uh, okay, so they are getting more colorways. Sometime before, it was like really dead here. You didn't see a pretty good selection like this. So it definitely stepped up. And they do have newer colorways. Like this is something that just hit the stores. So maybe this finish line location here at the Panorama City Mall is not falling off like I thought it was, you know? Kind of very low key, don't get a lot of traffic, probably still don't get a lot of traffic, but it was because the selection they had wasn't here. Now they got a little bit better variation or variety, which is dope. I like these 2002 R's right here, pretty solid too. And then we got a newer colorway of the 9060, which I don't recall seeing just yet, this gray colorway. Got the, uh, I think 3M on the suit on the, on the New Balance end right there. Still full retail. Maroon colorway, long hair suede on these New Balances here. $90 on the retail, not a bad colorway on these. Definitely seen this model a few times. I like this color combination. Definitely seen more colorways at, uh, what was it, WSS. Yeah, running shoes, casual shoes are definitely on point here at this finish line in the Panorama City Mall in case you guys want to come over here. So they got the Industrial Blue uh, MVPs 678 down to 150. They got the Jordan 6 Oreos here, and they do have this newer colorway on display, the proper way for the MVP black Almost look like the Chrome 6s in my opinion. I like the outside right there. Let me know if you got a feeling these or not. Selection here is not too bad. They even got the Green Glow Jordan 3 right there. Like I said, plenty of times already. This selection here at, oh, and I didn't even see this. Okay, so they do have some retros on sale too, which is always a good thing. Jordan 2 Lows for 95 bucks. Then they got the oxidized uh, green Jordan 4s. I was looking around and for some reason I didn't see that till very last minute, you know what I mean? Two solid retro finds right there. Not mad at the selection here. Uh, let's go ahead and see what else is here. Don't recall seeing these women's NMDs, normally 150, down to 70 bucks. That's a pretty cool colorway. Got some Under Armors up here too. This is like a reduced section also. Uh, Royal Blue Mids for 95 bucks. Cortez is here, clean colorway with some good materials on here, $60. Air Max 95, size 8 men's, normally 185 down to $95 on the retail. Jordan 1 Lowe's over here too. What is this? Red, black, and white colorway. Still says 115 though. Okay. More things on sale. Or just more more shoes to choose from. I don't know if these are on sale. I don't see sales tags on them here. And they also have the uh, Spice. More on their sales rack. So we got more green glows here. More of these burgundies still here. 
A lot of Jordans still here available. They even got these down to 120. Like this colorway the material on here is definitely pretty solid as well. No, we don't have jobs for 40. What are these? Gray school? Oh, these are gray school. That's why. Okay. 120 is the normal price for these right now. Definitely a solid colorway on from Merrill 5. Definitely clean over here. Pretty good solid selection. Pretty good selection over here when it comes to things on sale. Air Max 1s down to 120. We definitely seen those cheaper other places. And the Air Max 2013 Triple Black 150. Also seen that cheaper somewhere else too. Uh, this colorway not too bad. Down to 125. Overall, a pretty decent selection here at this location. Let's go ahead and get to the next store. Let me know what you guys think overall. These are clean. I like the uh, Olympic colorway, right? Yeah. Take a picture of them. Never seen these before. Let me know what you guys think about these 312 Legacy. Definitely a solid colorway, 134 on retail. Crazy. What do you guys think about these? Nike uh, Jordan 1 Mids, 139 on retail. Definitely clean, man. So we're back at Hibbit Sports. Let's go see what's inside Hibbit and see if they got anything worthwhile. Don't think I've been here in like a month, so this, you know, the selection always changes. Cool selection of merchandise over here too. Of course, we got the Jordans over here. A lot of things that we've seen before. Just trying to see if there's anything that we haven't seen yet, any colorways, because Hibbit is definitely good for that. I think I've only seen these at maybe two locations right now. This colorway on this New Balance is definitely pretty dope. Good materials on here as well. They got their good selection of sales too. Tatum 1s, Luka 2s, LeBron's even on sale here, as you guys can see on camera. LeBron Next Gen, $80 on this colorway. Certainly one of the best colorways of the next gen. These are pretty dope too, 114. Queen's couch, definitely clean colorway, 145 for this LeBron 21. They got some KD 16s on sale, 105 for these. We definitely seen them a little cheaper. But this indeed is the first time seeing the Slim Reaper KD 16 or fifth, yeah, KD 16 on sale for 114. Definitely clean on that for sure. And these are also 114 bucks. So KD 16s on sale. Tatum's over here. They still got the All Star colorway at full 160, but the Wanda colorway is down to 104. That's pretty clean right there. Man, so they're starting to come down on the prices, bro. Ten and a half in hand. We need these for like 69, 79 bucks. Or maybe even the 89 bucks if they got the next one for. Hibbit Sports definitely got some good things on sale for sure. We got the Jaw One bike for 85 bucks on here. This is also pretty dope. Not mad at the bike colorway. Putting the red laces in here definitely makes the shoe pop a little more. 85 on that. Cosmic Unity's down here on sale too. Uh, more shoes down here. Curry's 124. Definitely a solid selection. They even have these Air Max Penny Twos on sale for 154. One of the slept on, kind of low key pennies for sure. The I Promise AMPD, those 114. All three of those are at 114 also. So Heavy Sports definitely has a good selection of basketball shoes and a good amount of them are on sale too. The Core Purple on this Air Max one is definitely pretty solid as well. I like how this all goes together, the way they did the merchandising for this is pretty dope. These Air Max 97s are pretty dope, uh, especially with all this merchandise right here. It definitely goes perfectly. Let's go ahead and look out this side of the Nikes or the shoes and see what they got going on over here. Got a newer colorway, like a diffused blue colorway on this uh, Vapor Max Plus. Definitely fire, still for retail on these. Let me know if you got a feeling them or not. We definitely seen this Romero 5 before, but haven't really seen this colorway at too many locations. Let me know if you got a feeling these or not. Definitely a popular shoe in 2024. Air Max Plus Drift in a few colorways, and they also got a newer colorway, which I haven't seen just yet. Not really, don't know if I really like these or not. Let me know if you guys feel them. Definitely a heavier shoe, 185 in the retail. They have been coming in some good colorways. These are just kind of heavy, and I do like that white and black one. I'm curious to see if they're going to do a black and white one. That one probably will be fire as well. Air Maxes. Then we got these Air More Up Tempos. Only seen these at maybe two locations, man. These more up tempos are pretty solid. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this color combination or the materials. You got new buck or you got that suede, suede with the leather. Definitely a high quality one. 180 on the retail for these up tempos. More shoes, more shoes, and more shoes. A lot of them we've seen in colorways. Pandas, suede pandas, USA dunks that just recently came out. Overall, not a bad selection here with a lot of tags. 79 bucks on these Air Max 90s. Both colorways are definitely pretty solid too. Not a bad colorway. What about these? Uh, did we see these before? These Air Max 95s? Kind of keep, kind of hard to keep track. There's so many colorways that pop out. 175 on these, not a bad color combination for sure. 
they got these marked down to 125 and we truly don't see these Air Max 90s in too many stores. Still 140 on the retail. Kind of a loud colorway. Let me know if you guys are feeling them. Normally 130 down to 55 bucks on these. Definitely a clean colorway on this shoe. Those are pretty plush right there. Look at the materials on here. Clean colorway, 80 bucks. Not quite sure if I've seen this color combination on this 574. Definitely a clean colorway with good materials, 60 bucks. And have we seen this 2002R before? 105 on the retail, so many colorways of the 2002R out there, it's crazy. And I've been hearing more and more people talk about how Nike's kind of falling down and play people like Asics and New Balances are stepping right into that groove. Let me know if you guys are feeling that same way. Do you guys feel like that's the same kind of situation? These 990s are pretty solid on sale for 135. Is New Balance and Asics, are they gaining traction on Nike? Have they surpassed it? Let me know your thoughts about that in the comments below as we look for some more shoes. Pretty decent spray gown backpack right here. 70 bucks on the retail for that. A lot of different merchandising and, and accessories here that you might be interested in. Some more spray ground backpacks that are pretty loud. $80 on the retail for those. Perfect for back to school for people, you know what I mean? We got more shoes over here, including Asics, uh, Vomero's, uh, more colorways of this shoe here, man. I'm seeing so many of these pop out. I feel like they're only for women. I've only seen women wearing them. They look pretty good on feet from what I've been seeing so far. Uh, everything else we kind of seen here, Air Max 90s, 95s, Air Max 1s. Just trying to see if there's any new things that stand out to me. Dunk lows, more dunk lows for the women. Mids, pretty solid selection here. I think we've seen these yellow ones before. I'm pretty certain we have on the 9060. We got those up there for the women as well. A few other colorways, 2002 R's. They got this one here for the women down to 85 bucks. So there are a good amount of markdowns here at this store. This is over here in Van Nuys, right next to the shoe palace that I go to sometime. Not too far from the mall we were just at, like right down the street. So if you guys are in the area, definitely come over here and check out Hibbit Sports and see what they got going on in stock. A lot of good markdowns, a lot of good colorways that you don't see at most locations. As you guys can see, if you've been watching my previous videos or just my videos in general. Great school selection here, not too bad. We just saw these at that other spot in men's size and they got them in grade school too i think these 312 legacies usas are definitely fire one out of ten probably like a solid eight and a half nine they got these grade school lebrons down to 109 definitely should be a little cheaper jordan 12 for grade school 99 bucks wish they were men's pairs so and they got this new colorway of the puma scoot zero haven't seen this color combination just yet very similar to the one behind it but it's different of course let me know what you guys think about these i've only seen this in grade school sizing i don't think it's a grade school exclusive colorway but it definitely is pretty interesting right here what do you think about this Puma MBO3 colorway? Is this something you guys would rock with if it came in men's sizes? Which I think it does, but they only have them here in grade school. Is this yet another colorway out of Romero 5? It's like they had 150 colorways of these. Haven't really seen this one before. Let me know if you guys like this color tone here. 160 on the retail. Women's in grade school sizing for these Nike Dunk Lows. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this colorway. The combination is not bad, and the gum also kind of adds to it. And then we got like this oil green colorway on the Nike Dunk Low. Also pretty clean too on the gray school side though. Quite sure if this is new or not. Yes. Don't remember seeing this colorway. Got this new pink colorway on the Nike uh, Air Jordan 1 Low. Not mad at these. Definitely gray school or women's sizing. Stop by Ross Week Click. Let me just give you guys a glimpse of what I came across. If you guys want to see the results on these shoes, make sure you check out my channel, Bobby Thrift. I'm actually recording on the other phone, but I wanted to whoop out this phone just to show you guys some of the things. Air Max 90 Future. Crazy one, Adidas, uh, Adidas Kobe Crazy one, Jaw one, wet, wet cement PE, Ultra Boost 22, and some good NMDs right there. Let me know what y'all think about this lineup right here. Pretty solid though. What's good, you guys? Bosco back again, back at Glendale Mall. About to go ahead and see if we can find these Luca threes, and see if we can find some new colorways or something else. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button, share the video, of course, and don't forget to subscribe. You dig? Back here at JD Sports, we're gonna start the video off at JD. See if they have anything here. Right across from JD Sports, they have this thing called Rookie Kids. I guess they got a whole bunch of kids apparel and kids shoes. I do see Jordan 1s and I think this is retail. I'm gonna go ahead and look in here too just to see what's going on as far as the selection, but let's get to JD Sports first. This is what you see as soon as you walk in here. Women's selection is looking pretty much the same. I really thought these lattes would have did much better than this, but it is what it is. Both of these are actually some dope Jordan 1 retros. With Jordan 1's falling off, it's gonna be interesting what happens next year because 
2025 is the 25th anniversary, excuse me, 40th anniversary of the Air Jordan 1. Will that turn it around? JD exclusive colorway of the Vigil 1130. I like the lacing system over here on the Cloud 3. I'm on running, not a bad colorway either for the women. We've actually seen these marked down a little cheaper at other locations. They got them here for 140. Nothing really new on the dunk selection just yet. Got some job ones on sale, 90 bucks for these. USA colorway here indeed as well as the scratch. Barkley still here, full retail. Not a bad colorway on these Air Max ones. We've definitely seen these before. This colorway down to 130. This is definitely one of the newer colorways of the Air Max DN. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. White with the uh, blue, definitely not mad at these at all. This is crazy right here. Eight through 13, down to 75 bucks. Stadium Green, Air Max Pennies down to $75. That's actually the cheapest I've seen them so far. That's a good steal. Jaw Ones, Gray School down to 75 bucks. 75 for 8 through 13, or is this Gray School? B, I don't know, they gotta, they gotta fix it up. This might be for Gray School, 75 bucks. Yeah, got these Air Maxes right here, also for 110 as well, normally, what, 175? Got these dunks down to 80 bucks, not a bad colorway on these. Pretty much the same stuff these on deck too which were definitely a solid colorway but uh people just not really not really biting on them pretty solid colorway on these gazelles right here don't recall seeing this colorway of the 574 here definitely pretty solid though look at these on sale oh yeah yeah these are clean right here let me just take a picture real quick boom lucas boom also too thirty dollars on these right here let me know what you think about these man Digi camos here for 69 bucks, $70 on these as well. New Balance 2002R for 80 bucks. So we got yet a new colorway of the Curry Splash. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this shoe. Curry's budget model, very, very lightweight. Looks like it will have some good traction too by the pattern. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway, pretty dope. This was the uh, colorway we've seen before that he wore during the All-Star game. This black, gray, and white one, or gray, black, and white, or gray, black, and red is pretty dope. Their men's Puma selection also pretty solid. Let's get out of here to the next store. We have some LeBrons and Jaws, including the reverse scratch and USA colorway. Nike Air Max Journey, definitely a fire shoe right here. What you guys think about these, the Nike Jaw too? I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this shoe. Let me know your thoughts about it. Get the ever so popular shoe palace. Then we got these right here too. Where is it at? Jaw 2, man, the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement officially is going to return in November. Are you guys excited for that release this year? Let's go ahead and get inside Shoe Palace and see what's up. Some of the same heat that we've seen at most locations here. Nothing too different. They do indeed still got these. I'm going to show these a lot because I do like this blue colorway in the Vapor Max Plus, and I think a lot of people watching this does too. You got P6000s, Pegasus 2K5s, or 2K25, 2K5. Everything else you've seen. They got some Vimeo down there for 99 bucks, which we've seen at a lot of shoe palaces. JD be trying to hold these at 140, but you got them here for 99. Got the uh, Spider-Man's on. Diamond Turfs on deck still here at Shoe Palace and a lot of places, but not in the bigger sizes though. They got the black and white Cortez with the uh, suede on the heel and toe box. Dunk selection here is pretty solid. A lot of dunks here actually. A lot of dunks to choose from just depending on what you're looking for, but they got all the colorways. Booker ones, Barclays, slides. They got the jaw ones down there at the bottom. Got these on deck though, the KD Weatherman's. This is a size eight in hand. More up-tempo slide, the USA or Olympic colorway on these, still full retail at 85. Barron's, Barron Jordan shirt. Got the Jordan section over here. Good selection of retros here, always at the Glendale Shoe Palace for sure. We got the Jordan Aura or Max Aura 6. Not a bad colorway, of course, that bread one, you can never go wrong with that. Got a newer colorway on the Jordan 1 Low. Not an not a OG cut, white, gray with the sail midsole. Jordan 1 Mid SE right here. Look at the leather quality on these, bro. 135 on the retail. What do you guys think about this colorway, man? Definitely not bad, bro. Oh, it's just me and Peter. Fives. New colorway of the Legacy. Black with the uh, good materials on here for sure. Look at the leather quality on these. Jordan 1 Low OGs. That navy blue colorway too with that silver or that gray Nike swoosh. Definitely a good selection here. A lot of things we have seen before. Kind of a, an acquired taste for sure. I'm not mad at these though. Should be cheaper by now, but still 130. Good sales on sale for 80 bucks. 
we got this colorway on the form low CL down to 99 bucks. I like this black shell and white color combination. Actually, it's just cell and black, actually. More Yeezys appearing up everywhere. JD Sports had them, now Shoe Pals has them as well. Everything else we pretty much have seen here. Very solid selection for sure. Women's shoes, take a look. See if there's anything here that stands out to you. That USA colorway on these Nike Dunk Lows. Then we got like this mustard colorway right here for the women, like a women's exclusive colorway on these Vermeero 5s, 160 on the retail. What are these, man? Women's AL8, $90 on the retail. Kind of a different shoe. Looks like some of the other things out there. Very similar to that shoe right there. Solid colorway on these Vermeero 5s right here. Gray with the metallic silver. We've seen these before. I don't see the blue ones here though, unfortunately, but nonetheless, still a solid selection here for the women. They do also have these Jordan 1 Low UNC's right here, size 8. Very clean Jordan 1 Low. Jordan 4 sitting here, bro. Kind of crazy. Not on sale yet, but still here available. Now, we've seen these on sale at JD Sports for like 90 bucks. They still have them here full retail at Shoe Palace. And they also have that newer colorway on a Jordan Mid for women, too. Now, we got some stuff over here. Look at those 350s. If I didn't see these here in Shoe Palace, I would have thought this was a fake Yeezy supply. Is this like one that's one of those newer releases or what? Is this the newer Beluga? It says Carb. 225 on the retail. 3M on the laces. Definitely didn't see this one around. Looks like a newer Beluga. Kind of almost like that, right? I'm not sure about this, so let me know in the comments what's up with this 350 right here. Nonetheless, it is dope. They have a size 5 here. Still full retail at 230 exactly as we just came out of a store dedicated to grade school we got so many grade school restaurants still here that came out a long time ago these are still here 89 bucks one thing that i see here and not there is the playoff eights available playoff 13s here up there we got some jordan for 60 bucks so them having a whole store dedicated to grade school is going to be interesting to see not saying it can't work but i'm just curious to see what's going to happen with that Second time that I've seen these in grade school sizing, so this must be a grade school exclusive for Merrill 5. Not mad at these at all. 110 on the retail. Let me know if you guys like this colorway. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these 530s. We got a different colorway on the 574. Kind of a cool one. More 9060s. This one is not bad. I like the colorway and the materials on here is definitely not bad either. First time seeing this colorway of the Nike Jam, bro. These are actually pretty dope. This brown colorway. We've talked about the Nike Jam before. This is definitely a solid one. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. Definitely like a newer model or right, an older model coming back. 3M on here too? Yeah, there's 3M on the side panels. Not, not bad at these. Backwards Nike swoosh on here too. Definitely a fire colorway. Definitely seen the black one before. They got the black colorway too. Backwards swoosh down there. Almost give the Travis Scott vibes, but you, of course you know Nike's gonna do that. Uh, Nike Jam, which one do you guys like more? First time actually, First time seeing this in hand. Like I saw that one too early and I, I would assume this is put out early too. Close up, leather quality. You got the suede, the mesh with the 3M around there. Definitely clean, man. Not mad at these at all. Works over here is not bad. I can't wait for some of these things to go on sale. Hopefully we find them on sale in my size. I think we've seen these at another Shoe Palace location. They retail for 40 bucks, which is actually not bad considering the material on these. These are actually pretty dope. I like this one for sure. These are not bad either. Some blue ones, pretty clean right there for sure on those too. They got more type of shorts over here too. I want to grab them, but like I'll be seeing things going on sale. So, you know, that's what makes me hesitate on them. But we might have to pull the trigger at least on this one because uh, I don't know if this is going to stick around in my size too much longer. They got some shorts on sale over here, 19.99 is to sell on some of these shorts, which is dope. Definitely visit the Shoe Palace here in Glendale. A lot of good stuff here, a lot of the latest releases, and they got things on sale too. It's a good store because they got a lot of colorways of New Balances and Dunks that we don't see other places. So here in the sale section, they still got these on deck too, the upside down Adidas swoosh. Still got these Ultra Boosts on sale for $179 with 50% off. You would think that these have been on sale by now or out of here at least, being that they're on sale. Some other shoes here that might be pretty interesting to see. Here's their Blazers, the SB Blazers, and then some of their other shoes. And they got the SB Dunks right over here. They still got this one on deck, which is definitely a fire colorway on the Nike Dunk Low. Let me know if you guys are liking these or not. These are definitely solid gum also on here too. Let me fit these in the Discord and see if anybody wants to grab a pair. The size eight and a half in hand. They yeah, are definitely a clean colorway on these for sure. Then they also got this SB Dunk Low, the black and white one. Very solid, still full retail. 
on both of these. And this Nike SB model is pretty clean too. Of course, like the same color combination as that SB. Let me know your thoughts about them. And then uh, seeing this one online as well, looks like a pretty decent shoe. Uh, but they do have some dunks here, some SBs to be exact that you might like. I was walking by and saw these Converse. I've seen them before with the barbed wire all over them. Definitely a decent situation for the Chucks. You know what I mean? You heard? Don't have any Chucks in my collection. Kind of fell out that stage a long time ago. But I do got some Cortez that we might have to work out this summer. Came by Paxson because they do have a little resale shop in the back. It says uh, powered by Mag Park. Mickey from Mag Park. So they got a pretty solid selection of shoes here. Actually an exclusive lineup. Just wanted to show you guys what they had here in case you guys were interested in this stuff. This is the stuff that you can find here at the Paxson. These are all pretty clean. Those are definitely fire. Those 990s are pretty clean too. Solomon's are not too bad. Very decent selection here. Travis's, of course. We've seen those all the time. Born and raised situations here too. I have a new style of fitted hats or snapbacks. Look at these with the big, big logo, man. These are actually pretty clean. They got the Dodgers, 44 bucks on that one. This hat right here is actually pretty dope too. The logo's fire as hell. They got the Atlanta Braves, New York Yankees, Rams, 49ers. Look at this one here for the Cowboys. That's actually pretty dope too. Not mad at these hats with the extra big logo. I think that's the actual dope little concept. Let me see what this Rams one looks like. Pretty dope. You know, football season's right around the corner. Who do you guys got winning this year and uh, why? I mean, so it's always a circus every year what's going to happen. But um, yeah, season's right around the corner, man. I don't know if we saw this colorway of the Sambas. This navy blue and white one is definitely cool. I saw these at Journeys on the display right by the window so or by the front door, so I wanted to talk about them. But both colorways are solid. I feel like we maybe have seen them, but I'm not sure. So I wanted to show them again or show them for the first time. Let me know what you guys think about these two colorways. They got this blue superstar for 80 bucks. Definitely a clean colorway for sure on that. Look at this Puma Suede XL and this red colorway. What? These are clean, bro. These are definitely solid. We've seen those two colorways, but look at this colorway on the 2002R. This blue one is fire, bro. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this shoe overall and what do you think about this blue colorway this easy rider is pretty clean i like that pink tone on this one and they got the puma suede for the women with the exaggerated suede or long hair suede this tan one's very solid with that purple one definitely fire then we got this one over here which is pretty clean the brown with the pink and wrapping it up is this blue colorway look at these puma suede right here man for the women they got some 530s that i have yet to see let me know if this is something that really strikes an interest for you mustard you got like that uh rose rose gold kind of or something like that pretty clean selection here at journeys is ronaldo the best let me know let's take a quick look inside adidas and see if they have anything worthwhile always a cool little store let's see if they have anything any basketball shoes here pink colorway on these USA colorway on the form low. A lot of things that we have seen before. Kind of like a soft green, mint green colorway on the Ultra Boost. And I'm about to get out of here. Never really seen this model before, but it's crazy. Kind of disappointed because at one point they had basketball shoes here and no more basketball shoes here. No basketball shoes. Very unfortunate. So this is the Ultra Boost 5X. Is this like the latest technology or the newest Ultra Boost? Let me know what y'all think about this. Want to see what colorways they come with in the future. One of my favorite places to visit, Dick Sporting Goods. Back here once again at Dick Sporting Goods. They got everything you need, including USA merch for the Olympics that's happening, including a USA LeBron Nike shirt. Do they have USA jerseys yet? Definitely a cool little situation. They got them in white also for LeBron James, no AD. Take a look at the basketball selection here at Dick Sporting Goods. Same things we've seen, pretty solid, but it's nothing really new here. Yeah, unfortunately, everything here we have seen before, but nonetheless, here is the selection. If you guys were looking for some more of the TV colorways of the job one, they do have the black and white colorway here. One thing we have not tried out yet is the Tatum 2. This colorway is super dope. Let's see what's going on with it. Crazy, because I found these at Ross. They got them here for 160. I got a size 15 on my website if you guys need them. Definitely for not 160. 
So here we go. We got this thing right here. Look at this shoe right here, man. It's Tatum, it's Tatum 2, size 13. I definitely want to try these on to see what they actually feel like on feet. The colorway is definitely pretty dope, too. Give me your thoughts about them. Let's see what's up with these Tatum right here. Okay, right off the rip, it is a true to size. Well, yeah, it's a true to size fit. It's kind of a one to one true to size fit, but it is a true to size fit for sure. 125 on the retail. This is actually a solid shoe right here. And this colorway is by far one of the best ones, or Tatum 2s actually. And if you own a pair, let me know, but I definitely think these are pretty solid for sure. My toe box, I got like a little space. I could wear these for casual, but if I tried to hoop, I would have to go up a half a size at least because they're kind of snug. And 13 and a half doesn't really exist like that. So New Balance is here on clearance. This purple one is 42 bucks. The blue one's 59, and this uh, like 10 one is only 39 bucks on these. So now let's go ahead and take a look inside Nike for everybody who was tired of the Converse. But on this channel, we like to switch it up and show all brands because there's some fire in everything. You know what I mean? So they do have some cool returns here. Oxidized green fours, green glow ones. This Romero, which is definitely a solid color combination. Seen it before, but they do have it here. Return Air Max 97s. They even have some dunks here too, including this one. I believe we might have seen this one here before at this location. I could be wrong, but the colorway is pretty nice and I love the materials on them. The colorways that we have seen before, including this blue one with the red hint on the back. I really like that even got some more of the SBs that people do like for sure. Don't these have like a tearaway material if I'm not mistaken? Pretty cool. Pretty clean on those for sure. Women's side returns. Solid selection here. And Jordan 11 lows. Oxidized green fours. Nothing else we haven't seen but let's go check out the wall now. Women's selection here. Pretty, pretty decent. Nothing that we have not seen already. But we don't know till we get here. You know what I mean? Not quite sure if this is a newer colorway or not. It could be. Let me know if you guys are liking it. Of course, they got these on deck. And they got these Nike Dunks right here. Pretty clean color combination on these for sure. Retail on these is 115 bucks. Men's section, kind of some of the same things we've seen. I do see a couple things that stand out to me. So they do have both of the OG Jordan 1 Lows here, which is something we've seen before. They got this colorway on the Stadium 90. Haven't seen these at too many spots, but it's definitely a common shoe. This is definitely one of the newer dunks to release or be inside the stores, along with this brown one. Not really feeling that myself, but maybe you might be, but let me know your thoughts about these. And they got like a gray and navy blue or white combination that's pretty fire too. Air Force Ones, Air Max D is looking here at nike but whoa i've never seen those before what is this about these are pretty unique i'm not sure if you guys would like these or not but let me know in the comments below definitely a different colorway on a vimero 5 haven't really seen it before 160 on the retail many many colorways of these vimero 5s is this something that you guys would actually rock or is this a pass is this a colorway you would pass on Give me your thoughts about it in the comments below. We got the Vogue Green colorway on a Nike Infinity Run 4. I like this colorway. Is that like ash and slate with the gray right there? 160 on these two. We've definitely seen this colorway before, but the Vogue Green on this uh, Pegasus 41 is pretty solid. First time seeing this colorway on the Nike Invincible Run 3. Definitely solid and a very bouncy shoe. I definitely recommend that for running or walking. And then I do like this color tone on this, uh, what is this, the Structure 25? Another solid colorway that we've seen before on the Pegasus 41. What about this color tone on the Nike Zoom X? What's the Streak Fly? Not a bad colorway. It looks almost like a woman's colorway, but it's on the men's side. And they have that same color combination on this shoe right here. Very bouncy shoe. Thick midsole. 285 on a retailer. That's kind of crazy. Overall, let me know what you guys think about this selection here at the Nike. They also have this uh, mint green colorway on this Invincible Run also. Some people who watch and have followed me on Instagram have asked about these. They also have them here too and they retail for 175 As I came back over here, I didn't notice that this is slightly different from the other one. You see that one there? Then you see this one here. Got the leather material with the mesh and the suede. Not bad. In very, very small size and they had a return of the Kobe Halo. That's what these are called, right? Kind of crazy to see these, but they are a smaller size. Let's go inside Foot Locker and see what they got here. Hopefully something worthwhile. Right off the rip. Let's go see if we can get a hand in these in person and see what they're talking about. That's actually what we're here for today. But we're once again back at Foot Locker, Culver City. 
So the only place they have them in this store is on display. So they had them on display there, but we need to see them in hand. So let's see if JD has them or maybe even Chic Shoes. It's definitely looking like a nice Jordan 4. Some people are saying they look better than the Calls. Calls 4s. Let me know if you guys agree with that. Once again, they got them on display, but will they be on the rack? So this JD does once again have a solid selection of shoes here, but unfortunately those fours are not on display at this year, but uh, pretty solid selection here of shoes. Let's see what they got. You don't see these specifics in too many locations. This colorway is definitely pretty solid. We got some markdowns over here too. So the uh, Barclays here are marked at 155 as opposed to 170 for this red, black, and white colorway. We got the Jaw 1 reverse scratch at uh, 105, normally 130. Kind of surprised to see these on sale right now, but then again, the way everything's going, you can't be surprised at this. Then we got the Job One USA colorway at 100 bucks as opposed to uh, the 120 price point. Other markdowns on Jobs that we have seen before, also with the LeBrons. Pretty clean selection here. Enjoy one of the OG still here too. We do have a new colorway on the Nike Job One. Has to be a gray school exclusive. Got some denim material on here too with the leather and the mesh. Using three different type of materials on these, not a bad colorway. 105 on the retail for gray school. Let me know if you guys like this colorway or not. Brooks over here on sale, normally 140 down to 65. They do got 350s on deck here at this location. And this burnt orange colorway down to 105, normally 160. Air Max 90s here, definitely pretty solid as well. Rest of the Air Maxes we pretty much have seen before, not trying to reduplicate stuff. Why do they only have it in display? Why is it not out for people to look and touch and feel? Still got the UNC Jordan 1 Lowe's on deck for the women. Full retail here at 115. I feel like maybe we talked about this colorway before. Not a bad color combination on the Nike Dunk Low. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. Let's go inside Chic Shoes and see if they got the fours here. For the women, they do got these. Seen them in white. Now we get them in black with the gold accents. 135 on the retail. Let me know if you guys like these or not. Don't recall seeing this colorway on the Comfort 11. Not mad at this silver and black color combination. Dunk selection over here, always decent. We got something new here in the store. Haven't seen these before. This colorway is kind of crazy. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. Like the materials on them, pretty solid. 125 on the retail. Let me go ahead and put this in the Discord and see if anybody wants them. But this colorway is definitely solid. Let me know what you guys think. And so we finally get them in hand. Definitely a solid Jordan 4 right here. Let me know if you guys are into these or not. Damn, these are clean. Hello, how you doing today? So far, so good. Thank you. Yeah, these are clean. These are pretty dope. Let me know if you guys like these or not. And we have yet another colorway of the Air Max Drift. I like these, man, with the two in air. This color combination is definitely not mad. Not bad at these. Not mad at them. 185 on the retail. But this colorway is crazy. Very good colorway of the 2002R. Black, white. Got the forest green in there. Great too. Not mad at these at all. 145 on the retail. Let me know if there's something you guys like. Adidas selection here. Same thing we saw the last time we was here. Nothing too crazy. Got some like Transformer Crocs, Captain America Crocs. Pretty good selection here of Crocs. Got some colorways of the dunks that I'm not really familiar with seeing too much, you know what I mean? Maybe we have seen these before. Drawing a blank on them at the moment here. Gray school size that are 99 bucks on these. Then they also got these ones here. We talked about these before, and these might be gray school exclusives. You got the uh, new book on there with the leather. Definitely pretty clean for sure. Didn't see them in men's pair, but they do got them in grade school. Still, some locations have the Jordan 1 Low. What, these are Barons? Good quality on these Jordan 1 Lows. All these mids right here in conference are definitely solid. We definitely have seen those before, of course, too. But when it comes to the women's selection here, definitely a solid selection. You even got these fours that came out a little bit ago. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. Last week's women released the uh, Jordan 3 Desert Camo. Definitely a clean shoe for sure on here. Uh, WNBA exclusive. They do have orange laces to go with it in case you guys want some lace option swaps. They got the lattes here for 160. Well, 160 as opposed to 180. For the ladies, they got these Jordan 1 highs. I'm not really seeing these on feet too much. 
Not sure what the response is on sale for 129. 99 bucks, 99 dollars on a Jordan One High satin bread. Super dope Jordan One High. Just kind of surprised that these did not sell out like that. I like them a lot. Let me know what you guys think about them. And then also they got the uh, Jordan One. These are definitely clean too. The uh, first in flight, women's exclusive. Pretty nice selection here of women's Jordans. Sports got the Luca Twos, the All Star colorway for 99 bucks. The Easter colorway of the Tatum 2 on sale for 99 bucks already too. That's actually a good markdown. All of these uh, Lucas are on sale for that same price. Even one of the recent colorways of the Zion 3s is marked at 99 bucks now. Man, these just came out. One of the most recent colorways of the uh, MBO 3 already marked down to 99 bucks. They marked a lot of things down. MBO 1s down to 79 bucks. What? The MBO 3 down to 79 dollars? That's 80 dollars. Normally was uh, priced at like 99, like you see here. Even um, this newer colorway is priced at 99 bucks, which is really good to see. This one came out maybe like maybe a month ago now. We got the Puma Scoot Zeros, the Ray Mysterio colorway, our Brett Hitman Heart colorway down to 70 bucks. Got the Dexter's Laboratory, Dexter's Laboratory down to 79 bucks, $80 on these now. This is why I tell you guys to have some patience, man, because everything's going on sale nowadays, including, you know, the Jordans. That colorway down to 79 bucks as well. They even have the Cheetos collab down to 70 bucks, normally 110. These were actually priced ten dollars higher than normal, and they're down to 70 bucks. See, we got the Iverson Kobe's here, but how much are they priced at? 99 bucks, still too high. And gray school, they got them here for 60 bucks. Melo's life ball shoe or lifestyle shoe down to 60 bucks. And you will only see this in gray school. What is going on here? AE1 All-Star Weekend colorway down to $80 on these. What size is this? They got a size 7. Anybody scoop these up? 110 on the retail. The AE1 Low. Definitely a solid shoe. Don't know anybody who really added them to their collection though. So let me know what you think about them. So, you know, in honor of the uh, 35th anniversary of Jordan brand, we now get these. The Air Jordan 4. Air Jordan 4 Wet Cement. Now, this is a grade school pair. I picked this up for somebody else. Not mine. I could have scooped up a 13. They did have them available, but I kind of passed on them, and I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have. So the Jordan 1 Low SE, that forest green, really good materials, 125 on the retail. Much better than the previous Jordan 1 Lows that you guys can see right next to each other. These materials are much better. They got them in that mid colorway too, definitely solid. And I do like these Jordan 1 Lows here, that navy blue and gray, kind of like the shoes I got on right now, but my shoes got black swooshes as opposed to gray swooshes. 13 Dune Red here on sale, 25% off the normal retail price point. Definitely a solid Jordan uh, 13 that came out. I think I call them Jordan 12 slightly. They also got these Jordan 1 Lows here also marked down at uh, 125. Air Force Ones, Lucas. We got the Jordan Golf Shoes over here. The Jordan 9 Lows with the old English 45 in the back. Definitely a solid golf shoe right here for sure. As soon as you walk in, look at this. Definitely nice display. Wow. Pegasus 41. I haven't seen this colorway yet. Like a safari print on the uh, midsole. Definitely clean. Still full reach out 155. They got the same print on these too. Definitely like these. Price is a little bit too high. 275 but still a nice colorway. And they got the football cleat. And of course they got the uh, GT Cut 3 safari one right here too. I like this color combination. Let me know what you guys think about them. Let's go ahead and see what else they got in this mall in the store. Selection again over here with the GT series and just what they got going on with Nike. You can also customize your shoes and apparel over here too at the customization station. We've definitely seen this before last time we came, but a solid lineup. See no just on display right there. I do like the setup right here though for Nike, of course, here at the uh, Grove, which is in, you know what, the Beverly Hills area, so to speak. Got some more of those safari. GT Cut 3s, better lighting form. Let me know if this is something that you guys are into. Give me your thoughts and opinions about these in the comments below. Definitely like this colorway though. They got those sweaters we saw here last time too with the patch right there. Let's go ahead and see what else they got going on over here. Got more heat over here glowing. We got the Air Max DN. This is the uh, USA colorway. We saw this before, but in gray school sizing, they got them here in men's sizing. If you guys want to be prideful for the Olympics, this is not a bad shoe and not a bad colorway. Look at my quick hand movements right there, bro. $170 on the retail. More casual shoes over here. Some of their returns. 
never seen this colorway on this shoe before. Pretty solid, like a 3M almost right there, or not 3M, but 3D. 140 on the retail for this. They got the Huff Air Max One collab, the Huff collab right there. You see Huff branding. 160 on the retail for these. Let me know if you guys like this colorway. Haven't really seen this before. Maybe like more of a boutique release or a sneakers release. Give me your thoughts about them. So they do have some things on sale here. These dunks, which was some people that were, you know, requesting these, couldn't find them in the right size, but they have them here 25% off the 125 price point. They even got the New York Nick dunk. A few other dunks here that we have seen before. Pretty good colorways. Air Force One for sure. Got this one here with this texture on here. Reminds me of the Halloween edition, but it's not. Just an all black Air Force One with the perforations, I guess, all over the shoe. Some of these other things we've seen before. Of course, Nike Dunk Lows and a few different colorways. One of the more newer colorways to roll out. This uh, colorway is definitely not too bad. Let me know your thoughts about these. Then we got more Nike Dunks that we have seen before, all colorways. I think this might be a newer colorway added to the collection of Nike Dunk Highs that are out right now. Gum also pretty solid on these. 135 on the retail. Some pretty good materials on these two for sure. Then we got these brown ones with the long haired suede, pretty clean on here, 125 on the retail. More of the Air Max DNs. And then look at this. First time I've ever seeing this DN with that same like safari, safari print. I like the color combination for sure too. That orange is hidden. Let me know what y'all think about these. 180 on the retail. Air Max DN, the USA colorway. The other colorways that are here we definitely seen before. Air Max 2013 and that silver colorway. Don't see these at too many spots either. Solid lineup. And then we got the Air Max ones. Look at the colorway and the materials used. Pretty clean on these Air Max ones. 160 on the retail. Air Max pluses. I like this color combination. This tone of blue is definitely fire. Might have seen these last time we came here. Let me know if you guys like them. 190 on the retail. New style for the Air Max 90s seen these in like two or three different colorways we got the Vogue green on here let me know if you guys like this look of the air max 90 drift you know they got the air max plus drift they also have the air max 90 drift more of the casual shoe lineup including these dope uh pegasus 2k5 i do like this colorway black and white they have the opposite colorway for the women over here kind of reminds me of like oregon ducks or oakland a's that uh, green and orange, or maybe even uh, Green Bay Packers, Romero Fives, and a few colorways. This is probably the newest colorway, or one of the newer colorways that have released uh, the Nike Zoom Romero Five. Let me know if you own a pair of these, or if you own this colorway, and uh, your overall opinions on the Romero Five. A lot of good colorways here. Everything here is on a regular price point, but they do have a small section of some shoes marked at 25% off when it comes to the sportswear or casual shoes. Let me know what you guys think about this selection. Let's get up to the second or third floor. I don't think so. Was this Pegasus downstairs? I think it was. I feel like I would have realized it with the drawstring laces. Maybe it was down there. Pretty clean though. Rest of the women's selection here when it comes to their shoes. They got this bright pink colorway on the Pegasus 41 also. Not mad at these at all. Like a salmon pink colorway. 130 on the retail. Other things we've seen here with the running shoes. Vortex, Trail Run, all this stuff we definitely have seen before in these exact same colorways. Just going down here to see if there's anything else new that we haven't seen. We got the Orange Air Force Ones. Got like a crowd of people walking behind me, so. But it is what it is. Pretty dope Air Force One. And then we got like a Safari print one here too. These are marked for 25% off, normally 130. Decent lineup of shoes here. Air Max DN, this uh, for the women. Got this pink or this vault green colorway. Definitely pretty solid here. We got the Futures marked down. This purple colorway is definitely solid. Marked down at 25% off from 150. That's actually pretty good right there. This avocado colorway is pretty solid as well too on the Air Max 90 Futura. Women's Nike Dunk selection here definitely is pretty solid. They even have the Nike Jams here too. Let's dive in just a little bit closer. First time actually seeing these dunks right here. I like this color combination. Let me know if you guys agree with it or not. On the women's side, so they retail for 115. Not a bad color combination. Then they got these Safari styles, which we have seen before at another location as a return. They got sizes available here. This is size seven in hand. Let me know if you guys like this one or not. I think it's pretty solid. 
Here's the opposite of the men's pair that we just saw downstairs. They also have other Cortezes here for the women out there. If anybody's looking for Cortezes, Blazer Lows, Blazer Mids. I do like this color combination on these. These are pretty soft. These retail for, I think, what, $100 on the retail? Mark these down 25% off the retail price point of 100 bucks. Solid blazer colorway, navy blue with the white. 25% off the retail price point. Got the gold accents right there. Pretty solid on these. The new Nike Jam, 120 on the retail. Here, people like these shoes. Haven't seen them on feet too much. Let me know if you guys like these. They also got that second colorway of the Nike Jam here. Not a bad colorway. I think I like this one a little bit more than the black one, even though they're both pretty solid. Let me know if you guys agree. Jordan section, retro section here for the women. They definitely have some solid shoes that I haven't seen yet. Maybe you have. Let me get you. While I'm over here stuck, let's go ahead and look at some of these shoes a little bit closer. We've seen these at the last location. The black colorway with the gold accents definitely fire. Let me know if you guys like these. 130 on the retail. Triple black situation, not bad at all. The first time seeing this one. What's going on here? Pretty clean on this. 125 on the retail. Got the Wings logo, or not Wings logo, but the Jumpman keychain. Reminds me like of the uh, the patent braids that came out a while ago. Jordan 1s, definitely fire. Let me know if you guys like these or not. Retail on them is $125. Got these Jordan 1 lows here too, red colorway. They do got some discounts here, 25% off those mids and these comforts as well. Not the lattes, but then look at this comfort too, which I haven't seen yet, like a prune maroon colorway. Pretty clean on these comfort twos. $150 on the retail for these. Yet another colorway on the uh, Jordan 1 mid for the women. White, green with the cell, similar to these. White, maybe blue with the cell midsole. They're adding midsole or cell midsole to a lot of these colorways. Seen this one before, but I do like this color combination on these. Let me know if you guys are a fan of them. They also have this style in another colorway, which I think is pretty dope too. What do you guys think? Ladies watching this for sure. I got a few, a couple, couple or a few female um, members and then also people who just asked for help on shoes. Let me know your thoughts about these in the comments. This colorway is pretty dope. 135 on the retail. I don't know which one I like a little bit more. I guess for women, this pink one might be dope, but the green one is pretty dope too. Whole bunch of apparel here for women too. Even have some winter jackets here, which we're not nowhere near that season, but maybe start buying them now before the season's up. Overall, dope situation. Who's that? Okay, shout out to uh, Maria Isabel. Now we saw these weird looking Nikes before, 180, 120, 180. So these are both 180, these are 120. And I almost walked past these. Actually, I did walk past the Sabrina 2. Second colorway of the Sabrina 2 is out there. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. 130 on the retail. I definitely like that first colorway just a little bit more or a lot more than these. But nonetheless, still a dope colorway. Got the S right there, S on the chest. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Sabrina 2s. USA garments right here on the women's side. Look at this jacket right here. Got the USA patch on the side, USA gold or USA patch right there. Wow. So this is like the official stuff that they wear out there during track and field or whatever. It's sticking to each other. I don't know if there's Velcro or something. Definitely got some weight to it for sure. Heavy duty, real deal, holy feel. I like these. We might see these at some point at Ross down the road, so have no fear, have some patience. They also got the pants to go with it too. Got the gold little or reflective, what's that iridescent swoosh on there? I like these, man, I think this stuff is actually pretty fire. Is there anything on the back, like a big USA graphic? The slight USA right there. Pretty decent garment right here though, not mad at these at all. Pants is pretty cool too. Got the stripe down the side of them. More of this uh, Nike gear here, definitely pretty solid. And then they got them on display here. Last time I couldn't see these in person or up close, but this thing is crazy, bro. Look at the materials on it. Got the USA patch right there. How much do these go for? That was the question. That was the real question. 180 on this. Nothing on the back, but this thing looks dope, man. Let me know if you guys agree or is this just trash in your opinion. I like the colorway. I like the way the material looks on here. USA across, you got the patch. Definitely a dope style of item. Let's go briefly check out the kids section and see if there's any shoes over there. First time seeing some Sabrina merch as I'm on my way over there. Nothing on the back, just the little S in the corner, which they should have done a little bit more with the Sabrina sweater. Come on, man. You're gonna pay how much for this? You're gonna pay $80 for just the little S on the white cheat on the white sweater? That's unfortunate. 
That is unfortunate. Hopefully, they give us some more colorways or something like that for the future. Definitely not a bad situation here, though. We do have Sabrina and some other colorways right here. Might be pretty decent on the shirt right there. Okay. Okay, you got the Sabrina graphic on the back. That's pretty decent there, too. More stuff here. More Nike shorts, crossover type shorts. So let's go ahead and see what else they got going on in the store. We're on the third floor where they have grade school and women's stuff over here. So let's go ahead and just see what they got going on on the grade school to see if there's anything good. So only in grade school do they have these here. I gotta go check the men's side and see what's up, but they got these other colorways to so bring the twos. Definitely not bad. Is this like a grade school exclusive colorway? Got like the velvet material or something like that? It looks like oh, it's not velvet. But these are definitely clean. Let me know if you guys like these or not. Sabrina two for the grade school 110 next to this new job one which we've seen in the last video definitely a dope situation with the denim on there too not mad at these at all let me know your thoughts about these in the comments below zion threes and more of the sabrina two so they got them in two colorways right here both of those are definitely solid they do got the luca threes here on the grade school side solid colorway we talked about this one before the men's pair have a translucent outsole this one only has a rubber outsole and then these are super nice these lebron 21 gray school exclusives right here first time seeing these things in hand detailing materials quality not bad on these 21s for gray school let me know your thoughts about these in the comments this is something that you can add to your collection if they were in men's sizes i know gray school would scoop them up but let me know and dope selection here of shoes for the gray school including the Air Jordan 1 Low OG. Definitely clean on these. Let me know if you guys like these or not, the Air Jordan 1 Low OG. Then we got these uh, LeBron 21s, which definitely pretty solid. Just wanna get the people in the background dancing and having a good time out here, you know what I mean? Gotta enjoy and have a good time, you know what I mean? So do you feel the Air Max DNs comfortable? Before I left the grade school section, I seen that they had the USA shorts here. Crazy, bro. $90 or $6 on the reach up for these. These are actually pretty fire. We got to hopefully see these in the grade school section, but let's go see what's up downstairs. So we're over here in the men's section on the second floor after coming down some stairs. We do got some decent apparel here, Laker shirts, which we've seen before. Let's see what else we got going on over here. Really about the shoes. They do have some Giannis merch over here, which we have talked about for about plenty of times. Got the freak on the front. That's a pretty clean situation. Got all this stuff going on over here. They got the Nike GT Hustle 3 Safari on deck here. I mean, you would expect them to be here at this location. This shoe is definitely crazy. Let me know if you guys like this colorway or not. These are fire, bro. One, uh, 205 in the retail form, maybe because of the materials used, but they are dope. Rate these from a 1 to 10. Let me know what you guys think about them, and of course, in the comments below. They got the whole Safari selection over here. Also, got them on the uh, GT Jump 2. This is definitely a clean colorway safari print over here. Fire. Rating it from a 1 to 10, solid 8.5. 195 on these, though. Nike basketball selection is pretty much what we have seen here before. But they, they got the exclusive colorways, man. They got the Shop LeBron 21. Super dope here. Can't go wrong with these. Some places got them on sale cheaper. They got the pink colorway of the LeBron 21. Very fire. Maybe even kind of underrated colorway here. They got the grandma's couch pack at this location too on both colorways, the pink and the black one. Can't go wrong with either one of these. Ja one, New York versus New York. We talked about these on the channel. Super dope colorway. One of the best Ja one colorways for sure in my opinion. Let me know if you guys agree with that. So yeah, not New York versus New York colorway on the Ja one. Definitely pretty solid for sure. Boom. Trying on the floors right there with the dunks on too. That's pretty solid right there for sure. Did you guys go after those floors? Let me know your thoughts about them and if you copped them or not. They also, how you doing, bro? They also got these on deck too. These KD17s. The uh, producer pack, pink colorway. Clean, clean, clean right here. Book ones. Even got the barley grapes on deck here too at Foot Locker at the Grove. Not a lot of locations got these, but they got these on deck though. How much do you think about, how much do you like those? Do you like them or not? Then we got these on deck too. Nike GT Cut 3 USA colorway. Super dope colorway on these. So we got a little controversy because this person here trying on the shoe knows somebody who works here. And because he's trying on the shoe as people come out here, now other people are asking for the shoe. And they're not supposed to sell them, I guess, technically right now. So there is somebody here asking for them now, which is crazy. So somebody who must know somebody who works in Foot Locker was trying on those fours and then this white guy seen them and then somebody else saw them and the dude's like we're not supposed to really sell them I think they might be reserved but we do have some pairs left so 
always some funny stuff going on at the shoes at the shoe stores 190 on these super double colorway really nice collection of gt cut threes here and just basketball shoes in general let's go ahead and talk about this right here the newest thing added to the sneaker lineup this the air jordan 39 man let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not colorway is not bad shoe looks definitely pretty different not mad at these at all one to ten scale rate them you guys are a fan of these 38s. I'm not mad at these shoes. Transfers and outfit, I did not know that at all. Pretty solid shoe though, man. Good materials on the upper. 200 on the retail for these. I don't know if that's a deal breaker or not for people, but it is a pretty dope situation. Then they also have them here in the white colorway too. I think that price point is just kind of crazy for me, but the shoe itself is pretty solid, man. All white with the uh, black detail and the red, pretty solid too. Then, of course, we got the Jason uh, Zion 3 in this blue colorway. Super, super clean. I like those for sure. Then, of course, we got these right here, too. Jordan Luka 3 in the men's pair. Transfers and outsoles, as I mentioned before. Definitely a solid selection here. Seeing these in better lighting, man, these things are crazy, bro. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Safari print on these new sneakers. LeBron Next Gen AMPDs, very solid, too. And they got the eggplant of awesome. Plenty of colorways of the GT Hustle 2. Kind of the first time you're seeing multiple bookers in one spot, but it's dope to see that here. GT Hustle 3 is also in Safari print here too. A lot of people over here, so let's go ahead and check out the running shoes and see what they got over there. USA merchandise here, shorts, jerseys. A lot of dope stuff over here in case you want to add. Damn, these got some bite on them though. Right out the gate, they got some bite. These Jordans right here, supposed to be sweet like that. <laughs> USA selection here. Finally got a chance to see what this sweater looks like in hand, which is not bad. Not even that highly priced either, compared to that other thing we saw that was like 400 bucks. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with these running shoes over here. More and more running shoes. They got the Safari print on the Invincible Run 3-2. Not a bad, or 3 also. Pretty decent colorway right here. 195 on the retail for these. Very solid colorway right here. You got a fan blowing in the background, so forgive the loud noise. 180 on the retail. Colorway is definitely clean on these Invincible Run 3s. I like this uh, Vermeero 17, this blue colorway is definitely solid, 160 on the retail. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. And I've definitely talked about these 41 before, I do like this colorway, still full retail at 140. Nike React Pegasus Trail 5, I like this colorway on here, 155 on the retail. They always have a good selection of trail running shoes over here that you might be interested in. Interested in. Sometimes I just be forgetting my words, man. Let me know if you guys like these or not. That Nike new silhouette, Mobita. I think this colorway is not too bad. 110 on the retail. Color combinations on point for me. Also got some golf shoes here too. And some more soccer cleats, man. Overall, very solid selection here at Nike The Grove. Let me know what you guys feel like are some of the standouts in this store. Got you ready for baseball season as we are in with the authentic baseball jerseys and uh, Otani jerseys, 175. They got some other players too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, number five, Freeman. So that's pretty dope to see that they do have some baseball jerseys here in case you're interested in that too. Brooklyn Dodgers, the Otani jerseys in that new style that they got for the Dodgers as well. More jerseys here, pretty solid. So hookups and friendships are still alive and well, as you guys see. Uh, they didn't even have those fours on deck for nobody to grab. Somebody knew somebody to know somebody. That's how they were able to scoop them up. So that's what happened, man. It's about who you know. Nobody else had them on display. Nobody else knew about them, but the person knew about them. And when I left the store, I happened to see the homie that he was dealing with. So that's how you got the shoe, man. It's all about who you know out here in LA. I promise y'all, I promise y'all, I was up here earlier and didn't see these in hand. Yeah, I promise you guys, I was definitely here earlier. I was just here a few minutes ago and uh, I didn't see these. It's always good to double back because you just never know what you're gonna come across. Sometimes they put things out later. Maybe I just walked by it and didn't see it, man. Nike Sabrina 2 USA colorway. I saw these online, thought that they were only like a player exclusive or maybe like a TB or like, you know, something that was only gonna get, you know, players were gonna get, but fortunately they have them here. Red colorway is crazy. Do I like this more than the first colorway that dropped? Not so much, but they do have two colorways of Sabrina's here. So they got those and they got these. Both of these colorways are pretty solid. Of the two, I'm definitely leaning towards the USA vibe more. This is the official second colorway that released in my hand. I guess this is the third colorway, I'm not too sure. But of these Sabrina's, which one do you guys like more? The Ag Pegasus Trail 5. One 50 on the colorway or on the shoe. I like this colorway here for the women. Let me know your thoughts about this. Is this something that the women out there are running for trail shoes? 
It's got the fly wire, cushioning on the midsole, Nike Trail ATC. Looks like a very solid shoe. This women's Air Max DN, this colorway is definitely pretty solid, 160 on the retail. Not sure what the response is with the Air Max DN, so let me know your opinions on them in the comments below. Men and women alike, you dig? Great colorway too, which is also a pretty solid colorway on this Air Max 1. Measure it, bag it, sell it, cook it, cut it, measure it, measure it, crack, cook it, cut it.